Hi, hello, welcome to Maths Medium. Today I came with a new topic that is Practical Geometry from 6th class NCRT. Here is about the introduction of Practical Geometry. In generally, you may saw some lines, shapes, figures and 3D shapes also. In that, we have lines, line segments, rays, points and circles, squares, triangles and coming to the 3D shapes, there is a cube, cuboid, cylindrical shapes like that. But we have to construct that figures, right? So, by using some tools, we have to construct that shapes or any line, line segments, any square, triangle, circles also. So, that particular tools we are going to discuss in this practical geometry introduction topic. So, let's start introduction about the what is a geometrical tools. So, in generally we have ruler and second one is compass, third one is divider. Fourth one is set squares and fifth one is protractor. So these are the five geometrical tools we are going to use for the practical geometry or for any geometrical shapes construction. So let's take ruler. It is used to draw lines and line segments also and also measures their lengths it means if you draw any line ruler measures the how much centimeters or millimeters etc it measures the how much measuring is that line measuring so that is the ruler next coming to the compass it marks the equal lengths but do not measure them it is mostly used to draw an arc and circles also so, compass is used to mark the equal length. It means if you take any line, use it to copy that line also. But it does not measure the lines. But it is used to draw an arc and circles. So, next coming to the divider to compare lengths. So, it compare only lengths. If you take any two lines, like this is AB line segment sorry this is pq by using divider we can measure the ab measurement and pq measurement as well but by using divider we can compare which line is more than the smaller one so next coming to the set squares these are mostly used to draw perpendicular lines you know what is a perpendicular? It means it gets right angle at that point. So that is called perpendicular lines and parallel lines also. So parallel lines do not touch each other. These are called parallel lines. And perpendicular lines means if in case this is one line, it passes through another line here at that point we get 90 degrees. It means right angle. These are called perpendicular lines so by using set square we can draw perpendicular and parallel lines as well next coming to the protractor to draw and measure the angles so by using protractor we can measure the angles now we are going to see this by visually so this is the ruler you know this is the scale this is up to 15 centimeters. See, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, up to 15 centimeters. In between these, there are small lines. See, in between that, there is a big line. See, this is 0, 0 0.1 mm, 0 0.2 mm, 0 0.3 mm, 0 0.4 mm. Mm means millimeters and 0 0.5 mm. We can call it as 0.5 centimeters also. So, 
Like that, we can measure any of the lengths. See, to draw line, line segment and measures the length. So, if you want to draw any line like 4.5 centimeters, this is 0 and 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and small big line is there that is 0 0.5 centimeters. So, 4 plus 0 0.5 centimeters is known as 4.5 centimeters. Now, put a point like that and draw a line segment with a 4.5 centimeters. Generally, we are drawing line segments like this. So, AB is equal to 4.5 centimeters. We are denoted as AB bar is equal to 4.5 centimeters. Next, coming to the compass. This is a compass and marks the equal lengths but do not measure them. So, see, by using scale, I am drawing here with 2.5. This is PQ with 2 cm, right? Now, in this compass, we have to put a pencil like this. This is not a good one and this is also not. So, we have to put like this. See, if you see, these two are like this. This is little bit much higher than the this knob. So, see, like this. If you put a scale, you can observe this. See, now write this now now these are perfect now mark the equal lengths but do not measure them so it doesn't measures because of here we don't have any millimeters and centimeters but at this point and at this point we can measure the equal length so by putting these two see in these two points it means this point and this point we can measure it is as 2 centimeters exactly. So that's what this statement said. So to draw an arc and circles with this, see if you put at any point and this is called an arc. It's called an arc. And if you put this and draw any circle like this. So if you extend the R, we can get the circle with the center O. So that is the purpose of the compass. Next coming to the divider. To compare lengths. See here I already told you AB and PQ. These are two line segments but we have to compare. This is a divider. We can prolong this like this. So this is AB. See this is not correct position and this is not correct position. So this is the correct way to measure. Now see this is pq more than half so pq is greater than the ab so this is the divider purpose to compare the lengths next is set squares to draw perpendicular lines and parallel lines we already discussed parallel lines and perpendicular lines here so let's see set squares these two are set squares these two are set squares now see if you make any line here if you make another line here these two are called parallel lines and if you put a point here and draw a line like this, these two are called perpendicular lines. So, to draw perpendicular lines and parallel lines, set squares are mostly used. Next, protractor to draw and measure angles. So, this is a protractor. This is used to measure angles. So, this is the zero point. It means, here it is the point we have to measure an angle. So, in that, we have to draw a line for the base purpose. Okay. Now, put this line is parallel to the dotted line what I draw. So, this is the perfect way to put a protractor. Now, we have to measure. From right to left, we have 0 to 180 degrees. From left to right, we have 180 degrees again. So, we can measure any way. We can start measure from any way like right to left, left to right according to the our figure requires. So, here 0, 10, 20, 30, 30 degrees this is. Now, we can draw a line to this point. So, it, this measures 30 degrees. So, here we are measures in degrees. So, it means x degrees like this. 
So this is about this session. I hope you understand about this session. If you have any doubts, comment on comment section. Please click like button, share my videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you.